Good morning. This is for Migraine Buddy Group and for Migraine International Patients Perspective. I just wanted to come on and uh, what you're hearing in the background is a song called Breathe by Pink Floyd. Um, hopefully it's not overshadowing my voice. So I wanted to talk about a couple of things. It's not going to be a very long video. Um, we have 43 new members in our Migraine Buddy Group putting us at 1485. We should, uh, we should reach 1500 very shortly. Um, I've been going through the different um, comments and everything on here and lately I've been trying to come up with uh, some new content for the group. Um, I've been listening to a lot of really great podcasts so if you have Spotify, if you search Migraine on Spotify, um, you're going to find a lot of great content. A couple of that I listen to are podcasts. One is called I Am Not My Pain. The um, person that does that, her name is Melissa Adams. She and I met at a... Um, I guess you'd call it a conference for um, a group called Kids Kicking Cancer and Heroes Circle. And somehow we started a conversation about migraine and uh, she's aware of our group and I'm aware of her podcast. And they're not all about migraines, but they do address migraines and migraine pain in their podcast. One is called The Migraine Miracle Moment. and if you've been listening to the Migraine World Summit, which if you have not done that before, it's almost over now, but um, every year about this time, they have the Migraine World Summit and they have three to five videos a day with uh, different experts from around the world addressing a whole range of migraine topics. Um, so, one of the uh, videos at the Migraine World Summit was with somebody with the National Institute of Health. Um, and they had some great topics. Uh, they were, you know, one of the things that I've been hearing in some of these presentations talks about, um, what is it called? Mindfulness. It talks about how you can... Um, you can use a practice of mindfulness to uh, reduce your stress, reduce your uh, severity and frequency of, of migraines. So that's worth checking out. Um, so next week, to, uh, as of today, which is uh, Thursday, uh, so a week from today on the 23rd, I'm going to be doing a Zoom call with a device that's supposed to help with migraines. It's called Nerevio. And Nerevio is the one that's like an armband and it's a neurostimulator, sort of like Sepple or whatever. Um, and I'd be interested to know if anybody has uh, gotten this device, what it took for you to get the device, how much it cost, and whether or not you saw any difference in your migraines either using it or you know while you had a migraine or using it as a uh, prevention so uh, my questions about um, Nerevio are going to be like how specifically does it work uh, explain the physiological you know reasons or, or functions that make it help with migraines and what it would cost, whether it's the U.S. or other countries. Um, where can we get it? And does it require a prescription or you can, can you order it straight from the company? Um, you know, does it do preventive therapy, therapy uh, just regular headache therapy or acute therapy, which means it helps you during an attack reduce your your pain. So that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't want to go very long. I just wanted to inform you. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, as some of you already know that I've been struggling lately. Uh, for some reason in Michigan this year, the 
barometric pressure changes um, have been in the red for the last two months and you know I can't say specifically that's what's causing them but um, let's just say that they haven't been great so uh, hopefully I'll have some great topics and maybe some interviews uh, to add to our page very shortly um, have a great day guys